Hey guys, so today I'm going to be adding locks to my green iguana enclosure. Um, for the past uh, while now, over a week for sure, maybe a week and a half, I don't know. I've had this tank set up and I've had him in it and he hasn't been like pacing and trying to get out like he was in the last enclosure because the last enclosure was so small for him. Um, but what I have done is this, um, I mean this, this, he could push this open if he really tried, I think personally. Um, but luckily it is, it does fall back into place, but I've had this leaning up against it. So this goes like that and I've had it like leaning up against it and um, he hasn't tried to get out, like I said, but I want locks on this because eventually he will be bigger and um, he's gonna try to get out. So I have <laughs> two locks actually. Um, I'm gonna put one up here and then one right there. Um, so I figured I would do a video on it real quick because it's just something that I was doing and we didn't get it done while I was, um, or while we were uh, setting this up. So let's get the locks on. So I'm going to first begin with the top lock and I don't really need a step stool here but I might make it a bit easier. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, I think how I want it is, huh, these locks seem to be different. Or am I being dumb? Nope, I'm being dumb, okay. You can have it either way. Okay, <laughs> oh gee whiz, thought this was gonna be easy. Okay, uh, is it? Is it the same either way? Okay, I'm so dumb. Anyway, um, I want it like this. So then the latch is down and you have it and then the latch is on this side. I think that all makes sense. So now I need to figure out where I want it and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes. So I'm thinking this, I went right up against the edge and wow, that's, maybe I went back a bit. Um, hmm, do I want it right up? I'll do it back just a bit. And then I do it up just a bit. That looks good. Okay, this one's gonna be the hardest one to do. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put in that screw. Now this is, these are oak doors, so they're pretty hard. So I guess we'll do See how this goes. She was. <sighs> okay. Uh, so I'll screw this one in to hold it in place, and then, like I said, we'll see how it goes from there. So that seems good, and then I'll make doing these other holes really easy. Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm pre-drilling holes is because these are oak doors. But also, I just tend to like pre-drilling um, pre holes because I don't have to worry about the I don't have to worry about the uh, the wood breaking. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole for the part this goes into, which will be right about here. That looks good. Okay, let's make sure. 
Have this out here. I think. And it matches the door knob and you not open it. But this door is a little bit bendy so that's why I'm having two locks. So I'm going to do the other one now. So here we have the locks all done up. Um, so now I don't have to have anything in front of this. So what I'll do is I have just enough space right here to slide the stool in, almost like I planned it. <laughs> um, so these, you just go like that, go like that, and then it opens up. And then I can close it. This one's a lot easier to put in. Like that. And then this one I have to push in like that. But now nothing's going to open it up. Um, and I think it all worked out real nice. I could have put this one like in the middle of this area, but I kind of wanted it higher up because like if I would have put it there, then I would have had to just bend down just a little bit more. <laughs> and I guess I'm lazy, but you know, I just wanted something that I could, it would just be very easy to. Uh, reach down you can go like this or something like that <laughs> it's a little bit difficult but it'll be all right um it'll keep charles in and all that stuff closed and i think it kind of matches because the door handle is black and the the silver on there matches these so it almost almost like we planned it so um hope you guys enjoyed i guess we put on locks on the iguana's cage so the iguana can't get out. And he's been loving it in there, so I'm sure that he's all right with staying in. So, uh, have a fantastic day. If you like this video, like it down below. And subscribe. 